Sacred, Sexually Abused Children's Relief Endeavor is a nonprofit organization which provides immediate financial assistance to families in need due to the reporting of child sexual abuse. Here to tell you more about this important organization is Sacred's co-founder, Carol DeToma. It was such a great start to the day. We were living in New Jersey, and my husband was in Springfield, Missouri, with our daughter Amy, who was giving birth to her first child, our first grandson. When I received a call from our other daughter, Allison, um, who lived in Lumworth, Kansas, I could hear in her voice something was wrong. Something was seriously, seriously wrong. Allison finally revealed that when she asked her six-year-old daughter, Sarah, why she was so tired when she knew she'd had a good night's sleep, Sarah could not hold it in any longer. And she told her mom that her dad had been touching her private parts and had also been making her do things to him as well. After I reassured her and calmed her down as much as I could, I told her I'd call her dad as soon as possible. And miraculously, he was in Springfield, Missouri, only two to three hours away, and that he would be coming to, to be with her as soon as possible. As soon as I hung up the phone, I was just overwhelmed with anger and frustration and fear. Once I got control of myself, I called my husband at the hospital in Springfield, Missouri. I asked him to leave our daughter Amy's room, and then I told him the horrific news. He immediately left Springfield and drove to Leavenworth, Kansas to be with our daughter Allison and her three children, ages six, four, and two. And unbeknownst to us at that time, she was also pregnant. As my husband John has stated, thus the physical nightmare for Sarah ended. But another nightmare began for our daughter Allison and all of our other granddaughters. One can never truly imagine or understand the impact and effects of the crime of child sexual abuse until it happens in your own family. On the day of his immediate arrest, the same day that Sarah made the report, it changed all of our lives. Allison was pregnant with her fourth child, another little girl, and she lost his six-figure income. She ended up losing her home, a lot of her personal belongings, and um, found a mountain of debt that she had no knowledge of. It, it was a big hole that she had no ability to fill. As we shared her story with friends, family, and associates, people rallied around her and helped provide income and sources for her for the next two years. Allison has maintained her teaching career throughout all the moves that she's made uh, over the time. Uh, John and I have moved around the country as well, but finally made it back to Kansas City. And when we did come back to Kansas City, Allison and the four girls moved in with us for about a year. Uh, to try to help them get more stable financially. About three and a half years ago, I retired to give my time, energy, and passion full-time to Sacred. During this time, our board of directors has grown from five to seven members. All are volunteers. There are no salaries or compensations to anyone who works with Sacred and devotes their time to our mission. During our ordeal, we discovered that there is no immediate financial assistance for victims of child sexual abuse. When the family is working with the Child Advocacy Center, more commonly known as a CAC, their advocate will guide them to apply for financial aid. Unfortunately, that financial aid takes 30 to 90 days to reach the families through the government agencies. So John and I created Sacred provide immediate financial assistance to families whose child or sometimes children have been victimized by sexual abuse. We coordinate only with certified child advocacy centers, again known as CACs, because the reports are verified. The need is properly evaluated and the police are involved in the case. 
As you will learn in our last segment, when we receive an application from a referring CAC, it is reviewed and sent to the board, and if it meets our criteria, it is approved, and then a check is sent to the referring CAC within 24 hours. The money is never sent to the victim. It is always sent to the referring agency who pays all the outstanding bills. We know of no other agency, charity, other than sacred, that provides this immediate financial assistance. In the previous videos, my wife Carol told you Sarah's story. She spoke to you about our founding, our vision, and our mission. It's my turn to explain how we go about helping child sexual abuse victims and their families. After several months of planning, meeting with attorneys, fundraising to cover fees and startup expenses, we were finally notified that effective July 16, 2009, SACRE was approved as a 501c3 tax-exempt charity by the federal government. In the beginning, it was just me, Carol, and my cousin Steve. How do we find families to help? How do we know if they're truly in need? We were not professionals in the field, so we turned to the professionals who knew and asked them. If we raised money to help those who they were counseling, would they work with us to find families truly in need and help us distribute the funds? Their response was unanimous. It was a unanimous yes. Over the years, we've evolved to a standard application. We have promotional materials that we sent to child advocates dealing with the process. It details how the process works. We have an informative brochure. We use social media and have training videos online for our child advocates. Most importantly, we trust our child advocates to bring us those who are truly in need. You can help. Although we can and work with any accredited child advocacy agency, our outreach is limited by the funds we can raise. We currently have worked with 14 child advocacy agencies throughout Missouri and Kansas. We are in communication with other CACs in Iowa, Nebraska, and South Dakota. To reach all of the CACs in America, we would require approximately $3.5 million in funding. We are touching only a handful of families and children affected by child sexual abuse. We need your help to reach more. You can donate at www.kidsaresacred.org, on our Facebook page, or by direct mail to our address. Let's all work together to raise awareness of the prevalence of child sexual abuse and become active in stopping it. Thank you.